right, welcome back to the build as we move forward and uh, continue to get our teardrop trailer finished. So today, I'm going to do a couple of things. I've got the back end uh, section for the cabinets. I have that all varnished up and ready to go as far as putting it all together. But first, I think what I'm going to do is uh, install the doors on the face, then we'll remove it and then we'll get things varnished up so when we put things together everything will line up and we can go ahead and install the cabinet doors those will be in place so that's our agenda today is to get the cabinet doors uh, the hinges on marked and in place removed varnish everything then we can put everything in place and get it fastened down so the back section will almost be done except for a couple pieces of trim. So, we're moving right along, the back will be done, and then we can move on the inside and get this cabinet done before we can start rolling on the roof. So, let me give you a shot of what we got going on, what we're doing, and how we're gonna do it. So we do have the uh, inside of the cabinet all ready to go. It's all varnished and just waiting for the uh, top and the face to go on, and then we can get those screw fastened down. We'll get them glued and screwed, and then we can finish varnishing the back and then put on some trim before we can call this section done. So we'll just set this back up in here, just like so. And then the face goes in, we get it locked into place and uh, make it look pretty. So right now we're gonna go ahead and install the doors on the face. I got three cabinet doors, they're already cut and ready to put the hinges on and then we'll get those moving. So the face of the cabinet, uh, I have a couple of sticks here, they're three quarters of an inch wide. I laid them on the top, laid them on the bottom, and that centers the, uh, the cabinet doors top and bottom. And then the space from the uh, side edges are an inch and a quarter on both sides. And then we just evenly space these, they're about 15, 16 inches apart, and make that look good. So. One at a time, I'm gonna take the clamps off. I've got uh, some self-closing hinges that we'll be using. We'll mount those on the back side here, and then we'll get them fastened onto the face, make sure everything looks good, and then we'll remove them. I've got some edge banding that I'm gonna be putting on the uh, doors here. We'll get those done, and then we can get the face of the cabinet on the back, get everything varnished up, Oh, it sounds like a lot to do, but it goes pretty quick. So, turn the cabinet face over. This is the bottom piece here. I've got my hinges set, and we're about an inch and a half away from the edge to the uh, edge of the hinge. I'll be using a piece of this banding as a spacer, so when I get ready to tap my holes, when I get the banding on, it's going to fit right. So, I'm going to go ahead and fasten all these on and set them in place and one by one we'll get them fastened on the front here and see what it looks like. I think it's gonna look cool. Alright just a real quick shot of the hinges they are now installed and so that went relatively easy I just put a uh, little batten up here clamped it down made sure my cabinet was flush with the top and then fastened my screws down that kept everything from moving and everything looks to be evenly spaced. Got an inch and a quarter here on the edges. And let's see if I can open that thing up. So that's pretty much how it's going to be. So now we'll dry fit it. We'll set it back there, see what it looks like. And then, uh, then we take these off, get everything banded, and start varnishing up. And then we can put it all back together and call it good. All right, let's set this in place and see what it's going to look like. There, just like that. That looks pretty good. Now we'll have some special handles made, I think. And then when it's open, 
It'll also make for a nice little countertop still, so you still have the counter space. I decided to have them open that way instead of out like this. Uh, that way you didn't have to clear off everything out of the way. We can just set it there, still be able to use that as a countertop and uh, access our insides here. So I think that's looking good. So the next step, obviously, is, like I said, take the hardware back off. We'll get things varnished up, get the face set in place, get everything fastened down, put the doors back on. And then I have a little piece of trim. Wait one second. Time's up. So I'll be putting a piece of uh, trim up here, not necessarily oak, but uh, a piece of wood trim that will cover the face of this plywood and it'll give it a little bit of protection here in case you bump against that and uh, it'll add some beauty there. On the bottom here we're going to use some uh, some angled aluminum because that's going to take a lot of abuse. Frying pans, cups, plates, forks, silverware, the whole works banging into this thing and we don't want to we don't want to dent it up. I don't know it's it could look pretty good with the trim, wood trim on here, but I think the aluminum would be a lot better. It's going to be a lot more durable. So that's what we're going to use. So we'll use a wood trim up here and aluminum trim here and on the face of this uh, piece right here. And then we'll be able to call this section done once everything is varnished. Then we can move on the inside. So the back is almost done. Hopefully, this is where you're at if you're building along. So. Let me go ahead and get things ripped apart. We'll get some varnish on here and then we'll get everything attached and reinstall everything and move on to the next step. <laughs> yeah. All right. Looking good. Hope you guys are liking that. All right. So we're getting ready to put things together. So I've already pre drilled my holes on the ends and I have some screws sticking in there so when I'm ready to put things in place, hold it, I can get it fastened real quick. Also got my makeshift little clamp here that I can squeeze things together to make sure things stay tight. So now I'm just going to spread a little glue on the top and put it in place. We'll get things squeezed together, make sure it's in the right spot, and then we'll start fastening it in on the sides and then we'll worry about the face. Alright, so the top is in, and I do have it fastened here on the side with some screws. Now we're getting ready to do the face, so I have three screws ready on each side. And uh, we're going to spread some glue. We'll get some glue on here. We'll get it down here at the bottom. And then on the piece itself, we'll put glue across the top and on the back side right here on this edge. We'll get that in place. And then we've got some clamps here that we're going to clamp everything together. And... Uh, hold it in place. So my little makeshift clamp up there is working pretty good. I have a nice tight edge on both sides. We're sitting flush in the back so we're good. Got me a couple sticks coming down so I can keep the uh, bottom nice and tight along the stick there so we got the glue. Give that a few hours to set up before we remove that and uh, yeah so it's coming along. So let's get the face on here and uh, get everything clamped in place We'll screw fasten everything from the side and we'll leave that set to dry and then we'll work on our cabinet doors. Well, just so things don't fly away, the monstrosity that I come up with is uh, <laughs> uh, everything is glued, clamped, and screwed in place. So <laughs> once everything's dry, 
then we can remove all this uh, artwork here and then we can get things sanded down we can get all this varnished up and while we're working on our cabinet doors and we get those varnished up those are dry then we can put those back in place and do a little trim work so anyway that's the progress so far uh, just to get the face of that on here and make sure it's nice and straight I do have it fastened here on each side three screws on each side uh, to keep things together and not fly out so Yep, it's coming along. So edge banding is pretty simple. You've got your edge banding. Um, this is a white birch. Comes in oak, red oak, uh, birch. Anyway, I cut it about an inch longer than it needs to be on the sides. I start on the long side. I have an iron turned up to the highest setting. This has a glue backing. So you put this on here and just start uh, pressing it down. Allow the heat to melt the glue and it sticks right to the wood and then once that's stuck then we'll come back and we'll trim off the excess overhang apply a little bit of pressure I have a little laminate roller that I like to use on top of that just to make sure it gets pushed down there and then I have a razor blade knife I'm just going to trim off the ends here. And then I'm just going to trim off the back edge. Just like so. And that gives us a banding edge around the edge. So we're going to do that to the other three sides. And uh, then we'll take a palm sander over it, smooth things out, and then we'll get ready to varnish that up. Alright, so all the doors are now banded and sanded. So uh, they're looking pretty nice. Next is the, uh, the varnish that has to go on them. And it's raining now. So I can't do it outside, so I'll have to figure a way to get it in here and do some varnishing. But, back end, glued and screwed, it's all sanded, and it's ready for varnish. The only thing is, I have about that much varnish in the bottom of the can. Now I have to make a store run. <laughs> yep. Take inventory before you uh, prepare for your next task. So I've got to get some uh, more varnish, set up a table so I can be able to varnish the doors, and I need to get this back section of varnish so we can call this complete. Well, I'm happy to report that everything is varnished, and the cabinet doors are now back in place, and work really well. So it's a nice little setup. Plenty of storage. Looking really good. I think the uh, next couple of steps is I'm going to make the trim for across the back here, make the trim for this piece here, and also make some pull handles here. And I'm going to use the same material that I did down here, mahogany, and I'll make them a half inch. So when I open the cabinet door, they sit level, and you'll still be able to use this as a counter tip, countertop, counter space, countertop, you know, combine the two words, counter, counter, counter taste. Anyway, that'll be my plan. That's what I'm going to do next is make my handles, get my trims on, and the back section will be pretty much finished. So that's going to do it for this video. We've got the back end nearly complete. And uh, I think before I start working on anything on the inside, I might have to start thinking about getting the trailer ready, getting the axle on and the wheels on, uh, because this thing is starting to get heavy. And it's going to take three men and a boy 
<laughs> to get this on the trailer and I don't want to take a risk of dropping it you know ruin what we've done so far so anyway hope you like the video hope you uh, enjoy seeing the progress and what we've got done so far and with any luck if you're building along this is about where you should be now so we're going to call that done and once again thank you for watching thank you for subscribing if you haven't already hit that like button uh, give me a thumbs up leave a comment down below what you like what you didn't like and uh, we'll just move on from there so until next time as always stay tuned